Hello everyone, and thank you for signing up to be a History Day judge. This program would not succeed without the dedication of our judges and their passion for history education. The purpose of this video is to review the rules for the documentary category. There are general rules that apply for each category, but those will be covered during a training session or with another video. You can access the contest rulebook at the URL on the screen, nhd.org slash how dash enter dash contest. Judges will receive directions for accessing projects and materials from their contest coordinator in the weeks leading up to the contest. A documentary is an audiovisual presentation that uses multiple source types such as images, video, and sound to communicate the historical argument, research, and interpretation of the topic's significance in history. The documentary must be an original production. To produce the documentary, students must have access to equipment and be able to operate it. Teachers can instruct students on, in the use of documentary editing software, but students must use the software to edit and create their documentary. The documentary must conform to all general and category rules. Documentaries may not exceed 10 minutes in length. Timing of the documentary begins when the first visual image appears or the first sound is heard. At an in-person contest, timing does not include time used to test sound or video. Timing of the documentary ends when the last visual image or sound concludes, including source credits. At an in-person contest, students will have up to five minutes to prepare their documentary for presentation, adjust volume, etc. Students will have five minutes following their documentary to remove their equipment and participate in an interview with the judges. At an in-person contest, students must announce only the title of their documentary and their name before the start of the documentary. Additional comments before or during the presentation, including live narration, are prohibited. Once the documentary begins, it must run on its own. No interaction of any kind with judges or the audience is allowed. At an in-person contest, the contest coordinator will provide details about available equipment and how students will share their projects. Judges are not permitted to run any equipment unless directed by their contest coordinator that they can. Students should be given reasonable accommodation with technical problems beyond their control. Students must create and produce the entry. They must operate all equipment, including recording and editing equipment, used in the production of their documentary. Only the student may write and narrate the documentary script. Only the students and the person or persons they interview may appear in the documentary. Using materials created by others specifically for use in the entry is prohibited. For example, the student shouldn't ask someone to create a graphic or special effect for their film, but if they find something already created online, they can use it. Students may use professional photographs, film, recorded music, etc. in their documentary, but all sources must be credited in the annotated bibliography. The documentary must end with a list of acknowledgements and credits for sources of moving footage, interviews, music, and images that appear in the documentary. The list of source credits is included in the 10 minute time limit. They must be readable. Here on the screen is an example of what the sample credits could look like. The source credits must be brief, not full bibliographic citations, and not annotated. All sources, music, images, film, media clips, interviews, books, websites, used in the making of the documentary must be properly cited in the annotated bibliography. Again, thank you for signing up to be a History Day judge. If you have any questions about the rules presented in the video, please contact the coordinator of your contest. Thank you and happy History Day, everyone.